Hi everyone. My name is Murli Gandhi Rajan. I am Global Healthcare CTO of Snowflake. Today, I would like to walk you through how you can use Snowflake's features and capabilities to detect presence of pneumonia in chest X-rays. I would love to start off by giving you a little bit of a business context on why this is relevant and why this is important from a context of healthcare. Then talk about how you can bring Snowflake's features and capabilities in terms of a solution architecture to truly solve this particular use case. Then I'll give you a little bit of overview in terms of how you can build this on Snowflake using the resources that we have available for you. Now, with that being said, healthcare deals with lots and lots of patient data. Clinicians and researchers need patients' data timely and, and they need that data uh, in a seamless way. And oftentimes this data is very distributed and siloed and takes multiple different shapes and forms. In a sense, we truly handle, deal with multimodal data when it comes to healthcare. The data about the patients comes in the form of structure, which can be you know, claim information, clinical encounter information, diagnosis information, and so on and so forth or it can be very semi-structured in the form of patient surveys, which are in an XML format usually, or it can be in the form of JSON, which is widely used as a fire interoperability standard within a healthcare field, or it can be unstructured document in the form of clinical notes, discharge summaries, medical images, audio transcripts, and so on and so forth. And 80% of this data within healthcare is unstructured. And today we are going to talk about medical images as one of the unstructured data and how you can generate insights from that medical images data. Medical images often stored in a format called DICOM. And it's a it's a think of this as a digital photo, but it comes with information about the patient, the patient demographic information in terms of patient first name, last name, date of birth and details about the medical imaging modalities, combine that with the actual image. So that whether we are talking about CT scan or X-ray or MRI, healthcare professionals using this format can truly have the image as well as the associated metadata information about the patient and the imaging modalities that they can then use it to put it to contest across the clinical workflow. There is plenty of information to tap into when it comes to this DICOM imaging format. Number one is you can extract the metadata information from these DICOM images that I was talking about and put that information side by side to patient's clinical and uh, claim information. You can vectorize the medical images and do a search on those vector embeddings to truly get to the images of interest based on a given image. You can de-identify the sensitive patient information in those, uh, on those images, whether you are talking about an annotated patient information or the information contained within the metadata and use it for research purposes. Today, we will focus more on the medical imaging AI side. And this applies AI and ML techniques to the images and say, okay, can I use AI ML to classify whether a particular image is you know, normal, benign, and so on and so forth. Or you can use AIML techniques to segment, for example, parts of the body from a CT scan. For example, segmenting pancreas in a CT scan, and then applying AI to detect the presence of tumorous cells within that segmented pancreas. There are multiple techniques and AI models that are prevalent in the space. And today, we are going to talk about how you can build one such AI ML model to detect presence of pneumonia in a chest X-ray. You can detect presence of pneumonia in a chest X-ray using six simple steps within Snowflake. Number one is all of these images usually resides within PAC systems or vendor neutral archives in a, from a context of a hospital system or a research institute. And the, the information or the images from those systems need to be extracted and loaded into a cloud storage bucket uh, for us to kind of start processing, right? So that step number one is to get the images of interest from those systems and move them into a cloud storage bucket. Once done, you can create 
Snowflake internal or an external stage to reference those extracted medical images and use Python within Snowflake to build a machine learning model or an AI model to train the um, train the machine learning model on top of the images that uh, we have. Now, Snowflake supports the Python-based machine learning model development. Now, once that model is built, you have an opportunity to containerize that model development and push it into Snowflake's image repository, image registry or a repository for containers and spin up a service that is executed as a container on our um, GPU or a GPU pool and actually do the model training. Now, once the model is trained, you have an opportunity to save the model into Snowflake's model registry and use that deployed model with, uh, comes with all the model details and the model metadata and you have ability to version, which you can also visualize that model into in Model Studio and use that deployed model in the model registry to do the inference purposes. Whether you are talking about in doing an API integration, which integrates with any of the other clinical workflows or a research workflows, or you are looking to build an independent app using Streamlit to do the uh, inference on the uh, incoming medical images. Now, how do you build on Snowflake? You go to Snowflake Labs GitHub uh, folder and you will see medical image classification using PyTorch as a folder. And within the folder, we have all the scripts that are needed for that helps you to jumpstart building such solution on Snowflake. The first step starts with creating the necessary database schema within Snowflake. Then you create an external stage or an internal stage to really point to the medical images that you have on your cloud storage bucket. Now, the model that we are you know, building today uh, is essentially a supervised learning model. And what that means is we are really having a already labeled chest x-rays, whether they are pneumonia or normal. That's what we are going to do to train and validate. And then we also have some uh, unlabeled images that we will use from an inference perspective, right? You can create image repositories. That is for the, the container image repository that I talked about. And then uh, we are defining a compute pool. Um, as I talked about, you have ability to deploy machine learning model program, model training programs as a container within Snowflake using Snowpark container services. And those containers can then be executed either on a CPU pool or on a GPU pool. And in this case, we are using the yeah. GPU underscore NV underscore yes, which is powered by the NVIDIA A10 GPUs from a compute pool standpoint. Now, you define all of the uh, grants and then you also define something called external access integration. And this is the capability that enables a machine learning model training program running within Snowflake to access the training uh, and the validation data set that sits in a cloud storage bucket. Now that you have uh, executed the setup script, we are going to go and build the model training program using Python. As I said, um, we are using PyTorch as the base image, and uh, we are doing uh, the uh, learning transfer from that image, uh, from that uh, PyTorch image, and we are essentially using, you know, Torch and Torch Vision based packages for this particular model training. And uh, here you are defining Snowpark registry and uh, ML um, Snow Snowflake's ML uh, capabilities. And uh, once done, we are defining the training data sets. We are defining the validation data sets. We are executing transformations to, to augment the images uh, to uh, better work with the uh, Torch Vision model. And uh, uh, we are defining the training loop. We are defining the validation loop. And here we are training the model training with the necessary epochs. And once you are satisfied with the number of epochs and the uh, number of uh, and the quality of the model results, you now have ability to save that model into the Snowflake model registry, right? And that's essentially how we train and uh, save that model, uh, save the trained model into Snowflake model registry. Now, once this program is built and tested, you now have ability to containerize this using this Docker file. You, you define the, the necessary uh, commands to package this as a, as a container. And once that is done, you will, you will execute these commands to push 
the container into the container image repository that we defined within Snowflake. And that's how this whole container is now available within Snowpark environment, which you will then stand up a service using these, you know, service description in a YAML file. You will define, uh, you will reference the, the container image that we pushed. You will define the resources, which are the NVIDIA GPUs, um, and you will also define the model stage for the, for the base images. Now, with that, you will then go ahead and execute these jobs. As a, uh, you execute a service, a job, which essentially is running the model training program on top of that GPU compute pool, right? Now, once that model is, uh, once this is executed, the model is trained and the model, uh, the trained model is then saved into the model registry. Now, once that model is saved into a model registry, you can, as I said, um, either uh, do an API integration to call the model for inference, or you can you build a small streamlit app like what we have here. Um, it's a very simple app. It lets you to define the number of images that you want to pass from an inference standpoint that is truly sitting in a uh, cloud storage bucket. All I'm saying is run inference. Um, at this point, we are taking those eight images, passing it as an input to the model you know, that we have saved in the model registry, and it's now running to do the inference. Now, once done, you will see that, hey, here is the original diagnosis and the model predicts pneumonia. Here, we ideally in a real world, we will have a very un unlabeled images, but in this case, just, just to show the um, validity and the uh, the efficacy of the model here, we are able to see that you know most of the models that are predicted, most of the images that are predicted with pneumonia are all the model is also predicting as pneumonia. Now, with that being said, you can use these simple six steps to um, build uh, such a complex uh, machine learning models on top of Snowflake using Snowflake's container services and Snowflake's YAML capabilities. Happy building on Snowflake. <laughs>